Well, drawing on synchronicity is quite an intuitive experience and it involves us going deeper into ourselves to find that meaning from it. So I think one of the first things is to be open to noticing things that stand out to us. Sometimes something will resonate with us and we might not be quite sure why. So even then we can file it away, so to speak. Keep it in the back of our mind because sometimes it's only later on that a symbolic meaning becomes clear. So being open, noticing what we notice, being ready to file it away, but then particularly noticing the things that resonate with us, sometimes it's helpful to record them because later on the meaning might become clearer and just like when we record our dreams, write a bit about them and what they might mean to us, when we record synchronicity, it helps orient us to that and we might experience it a little bit more often. So then the other thing I think that's helpful is to share it, just to let people know if you've had some experience that seems like a remarkable coincidence that you feel is meaningful to you, maybe it feels like it's meant to be, because often people are a bit shy about talking about things that seem a bit superstitious or not so rational, but it's worthwhile being aware that it was actually some scientists who were interested in synchronicity, like Wolfgang Pauli. He was one of the fathers of quantum physics, and he's the one who encouraged Jung to write about it. So just be open to using our intuition, not too bothered about it might not seem so rational to everybody. If we sometimes tell other people who might be understanding of something of our experience, then that can help it come to the fore and help us accept it more readily.